Windows updates seem to have killed this laptop. This laptop has 29 gigabytes of storage, which is a tiny, tiny amount. But when this laptop was released in 2016, the Windows install, Windows 10 install, only took about 10 gigabytes of space, leaving, I don't know, about 18 gigabytes free. Now, Windows 10, fully updated, is using almost all of this, meaning it's using about 25 gigabytes and leaving us with just 3.31 gigabytes of space left on this drive. So basically, updating Windows 10 on this laptop has rendered it almost useless. Once this fills up, it will grind to a halt and grind to a stop and basically stop working properly. So what I thought I'd do is install Windows 10 Enterprise IoT LTSC version. That's a light stripped down version and we'll see how much storage we get after we've installed it. So let's go. We've made it into Windows. That install took about 12 minutes. I used the USB port on this side, which I think is super speed USB 3. So it seemed to go much quicker. Um, I think this is an older version of Windows as well. Um, so there's pretty much nothing on here, which is great. Um, we don't even have a file explorer down here at the bottom. Let's pin this. And then this PC. So we've got 19.2 gigabytes free of 28.5. So we've used 9.22 gigabytes with this install of Windows 10. Um, and that's because it is the um, Enterprise version, IoT, Internet of Things, LTSC, Long Term Service Contract, is my guess. It's using 0 0.8 gigabytes of RAM. And we still need to install um, the drivers for the graphics. I haven't connected it to the internet. So we do need to install the display adapter. And another thing that I will do so that I don't end up with my hard drive being full is I think I will turn off updates. So let me show you what it says about the system. Here we have the Intel Celeron N3060, 1.6 gigahertz. It's dual core. It turbos up to about 2.6 gigahertz. This laptop only has two gigabytes of RAM and only has 29 gigabytes of storage, but this is Windows 10 IoT Enterprise LTSC. And it's version 21H2. And this is the date it was installed. So let me check the update settings. And you can pause the updates and then in advanced options we have um, the option to pause updates even further till the 14th of February for up to 35 days so that I guess this should be a way probably in an advanced setting somewhere to completely switch off updates but I'd have to have a look on the internet to find out how that is done but basically this version of Windows 10 gives us a system where we still have enough space on this laptop we've got nearly 20 gigabytes of free space and we have a working system so it's really crazy how much bloat has been added to Windows 10 over the years. Um, at the start of the video we barely had any space on the 
drive and there wasn't that much there was nothing in disk cleanup there was very little installed on the laptop it was just windows and everything else that sort of comes with windows whereas as you can see with this on the start menu got microsoft edge settings and then just some of the accessories notepad internet explorer the sniffing tool rdp um, admin tools um but not much else is on here so let's check startup there's no onedrive um there's nothing else to worry about so yeah this this is one way of installing a really light version of windows 10 and this also benefits from long-term updates security updates if you want them um probably people do if they're using these uh, this on the internet but if you just wanted a windows 10 machine that you weren't really going to use on the internet maybe you had some specific application you wanted to use on this offline um that should be fine i would have thought but yeah i guess it's up to each individual as to how they're going to use a machine oh look here's our emmc hinux hbg 4a2 and yeah this is windows 10 running on this little laptop and we're not doing any updates as far as I'm aware. I've just got task manager. It's the main thing that's doing anything. It's nice to see that this is just sitting here kind of idling and not doing much at all. Let me just see how much power it's using. It's using about six watts at the moment, which is quite neat really and being able to just sit here and do nothing is it'd be really nice if this was how windows came as default but it doesn't it's using 0 0.6 megabytes of ram that's uh quite impressive so yeah this is windows enterprise iot ltsc edition i'll bring that back up because it's probably easier to read that than it is to try and work out what I'm saying. Here we are. So, thanks for watching this video. Nice, short, quick one. Quick install of Windows 10. And we can see the results straight away less memory use, less processor use, and really importantly for this laptop is that the hard drive actually has some space available. And that is crucial when this laptop only has 29 gigabytes of RAM. I've got another video about this laptop. Uh, have a look if you want to know what I think about this laptop. Thanks for watching. Bye.